Ah, man, I had some, uh, I don't know, uh, many just zoning sessions with the vinyl, because I, I was messing around with, with production as well. And a lot of stuff caught my ear. Like, I was dealing with the SP505 for a while, you know what I'm saying? Um, then got into the more computer program type type joint, so started off with the, even with the kickboard program as well. So the source is still the tangible item of wax. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I did. I did a method that was wild one night. Like I, I was like stressed about making beats for one night. Not like I do it all the fucking time, but uh, yeah, it, it, um, <laughs> it, it's like. I took I took a record, had a had a a, beat, a drum loop playing. Okay. He recorded on one of my programs while the drum uh, loop was playing, and I dropped the needle on the on the record in various places, in different places, sporadically. And I felt I like made an ill loop within it. Like once I pressed play on the little everything that I recorded, it's a crazy loop on there, and I just caught that little segment, ran it back. That's amazing. And that shit was still. And I was just dropping wow. the needle in different spots and just caught the parts that went together. Endless, man. Come on. Oh, that's Prince Paul. Prince Paul. I shit. love that. And got it on wax. <laughs> shit. How many people own that on vinyl? <laughs> it had a crazy skit that I, I it's a crazy skit on here, but <laughs> he's a comedian. But he has schizophrenia. That shit is funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> he tells a joke and it, his I, mind be like, they're laughing at you. I think that vinyl's highly recommended for the world for therapy. Yes, <laughs> yes man. It's so, so much, so, so many jewels. Like, mm. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, indeed. No doubt, bro. Peace. Peace, bro.